Hey loves, welcome back. I made my coffee just like I always make my coffee in every single vlog. It's just whipped coffee. So if you want to see how I make it, you can look at one of my older vlogs. If you guys want to see how I make it again, I can do it in the next one. But I thought I would just show you my coffee. This day I decided to make some pumpkin waffles. And I almost didn't film it, and I was like, what am I doing? You guys probably want to see this. So I just took some pumpkin puree. I didn't really measure it, but you can see it on the scale up there. I probably put a little bit too much, but they actually still turned out really good. I did, sorry, my stove is such a mess. Half of this pancake mix and half of this pancake mix. So about 25 grams of each. Uh, the monk fruit one does require like some sort of egg. So I do add some just egg in just a minute. Uh, but the birch benders is you just add water, if I can think of words. I did add some cinnamon and some pumpkin spice, of course. Really, you could probably add pumpkin to any waffle mix that you have. I think that the monk fruit kind, I always forget what they're exactly called, but the monk fruit kind really absorbs water. So I think it really absorbs some of the moisture in the pumpkin because they did try to make them with just the birch benders and it didn't turn out as good the next day. So I do think the half and half worked well. And I also do think the addition of just egg helped for some reason. I don't know the science behind it but my best combination has been both of those. Uh, but go ahead and try it. When they didn't cook through all the way the day after this, I just threw them in the air fryer for a couple minutes and it completely fixed it. So I just went about my way, added water as I needed, and then added some more pumpkin spice because I had run out of my first bottle. I just sprayed, wiped down first. It looks dirty, <laughs> but I did clean the waffle, like the inside of the iron. Uh, I should have wiped down. I was tired, guys. It's a miracle I got out of the house this day. Or any day, really. Uh, so I just made my waffles. I should have made the first one bigger because as you could see it was a little guy. And then my second guy ended up like really filling up the waffle maker. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I just cooked those until they seemed like they were cooked all the way through. It's funny because this day I did them better. They came out better than any other day that I've made them since. I think I get too happy with the pumpkin puree and I put too much in and that's hard to cook. Um, so then I topped it with a little bit of this coconut whipped topping. I get it at Trader Joe's. It's pretty low calorie and dairy free, of course. And both of those waffle mixes that you saw are vegan. And then of course the Just Egg is a vegan egg substitute. And then I just topped it with a little bit of pumpkin spice and a little bit of sugar free syrup. I just put a little bit on in this clip. I like to like drizzle the syrup on as I'm eating it so they don't get soggy. But anyway, this is the pumpkin waffles. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know down below if you guys decide to make them. And let's get into the rest of the video. Hey loves, uh, welcome to this vlog slash Halloween hunting, Halloween, 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 <laughs> Halloween hunting video. This is the first time I have left my house to go somewhere other than the grocery store. And usually I only go to Trader Joe's. I have been to Target once, but it was like four groceries. So really I've only gone to the grocery store. Um, yeah, this feels really weird, super anxious, but it is mandated in our state to wear a mask. So I'm hoping it'll be safe. I'm gonna be very careful, of course. Uh, when thinking about not being able to do that, do this. I can't even think, my brain my brain. Um, those pumpkin waffles, by the way, were good. Let me get that out of the way. They were pretty good. I feel like if they had more sweetener, because pumpkin, if you've ever had just plain pumpkin, it's very bland and very kind of, not bitter, but kind of bitter. Uh, so I think I'll add some monk fruit next time. It is warm. I plan to go today because it's supposed to only be 75 degrees as opposed to 100 degrees here. So here I am. I'm out. Uh, I was not planning to go to Home Goods. Sorry, I feel like this is all over the place. But I sold something on Poshmark, and my the post office I like to go to because I can just drop it and not talk to anybody. <laughs> Social anxiety is out here by the Home Goods. I was hoping you could see the sign, but you can't. All you can see is Sportsman's Warehouse. Uh, but Home Goods, Home Goods. Oh, we'll get a shot. We'll get a shot. It'll be fine. Anyway. It is hot in here, but we are just going to go look around. I think I'm just going to, it's going to be like a Halloween hunting vlog. Uh, I forgot to bring a snack. Hopefully by some miracle I'll have one in my purse or I'll be able to find something. Home goods and Marshalls normally have really good random vegan snacks. So that should be 
something I can look for. I'm not going to go to Marshall's, but we're at Home Goods. I'm going to go to At Home, too, because I know they have Halloween stuff and maybe TJ Maxx. So we will see. Before I head into Home Goods, I want to say thank you to Chastity. She sent me a little gift and told me to go buy a coffee. So I went and got a coffee. I just got the Grande Dark Chocolate Almond Milk Cold Foam. And I added a little bit of caramel syrup because just cold foam never seems to be. Of course, someone pulled it next to me. You know what? I'm over it. I'm over, like, the world is so awkward these days anyway. You can watch me film. It's fine. But anyway, this coffee is very good. And thank you, Chastity. It was very sweet of you. I can just be awkward. Are they going to, are they, are they leaving? I don't know what's happening. I insist on wearing my flannel today even though it's 75 degrees in the middle of August because I wanted some fall vibes. I'm very sad that I don't have lipstick on, but <laughs> some of you guys were like, it looks weird for you not to have lipstick on because I usually have a full face when I'm filming, but what's the point? I got a sweaty upper lip when I got a mask on, so I feel like it would be all over. Uh, but yeah, I feel like there was so much more I wanted to talk to you guys about, but I don't remember anything else. Hopefully it'll come to me. Uh, I think it's just my anxiety of being out in the world and why is home goods so busy? So I was kind of weary of coming here, but at home isn't knock on, knock on my car. I don't have any wood to knock on, but it's never busy and it's a huge, huge, huge store. And this year I'm actually finally decorating my house. Uh, some of you guys know I moved into, I bought a house like two years ago, two, two years ago, three years ago, three years ago, three years ago. Oh my God. It's been three years. Holy crap. Um, wow. And I have not decorated anything right after I got my house. Everything happened with my sister's brain aneurysm and it just wasn't a priority. I still have some stuff in boxes. I just have not gotten around to it. There's so much that I want to do. So I'm finally going to redecorate and I feel like <laughs> any ideas I have for my house are literally half gonna look like a freaking cupcake like my bathroom is now pink i still need to finish decorating it uh but i want my living room to be kind of spooky because you guys know i live for halloween i'm thinking like black white and gray there might be a little orange just because that happens sometimes with halloween stuff uh but i want it all year round i bought a cute little print off of etsy and it's so cute and I'll insert a picture of it so you guys can see it but that's kind of the vibe I'm going for kind of moons and black and white and gray and stripey and stuff like that uh, but then my kitchen is going to be like white and gray and like marble and then my bathroom is going to be like pink there might be some pink accents in the kitchen too I just have ideas and I'm finally inspired to do it and now that makes me want to buy decor so I feel like this will be more fun this year on Halloween hunting because I can actually justify buying a few things uh because last year I was so 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 broke and there wasn't really I had no idea how I was going to decorate or anything like that I was still so so busy with school so yeah it's a little bit different this year hopefully it's a little bit more exciting this is super good thank you so much Chastity what an angel what a sweet thing to do um, I never buy myself coffee anymore ever. So thank you. You are so very sweet. Um, but okay, let's go into home goods and check it out. I ordered really cute Halloween masks, but of course they're not here yet. So we're just going with the good old medical mask. Okay, let's go to home goods. Who knew this year would be like this? Who knew? Can't let it steal my joy though. I need, I should have taken this off because now I'm talking, I'm getting hot. Um, I need some Halloween joy in my life. Let's go in. I hope they have stuff. By the way, Home Goods is where I get a lot of my stuff. It's usually, they usually have my favorite stuff. So does Michael's and Joanne's, but they don't have like anything yet. I've been stalking all of those Halloween hunting pages on Instagram, uh, but they don't have anything yet. And we did our first Halloween hunting like weeks ago last year. But anyway, my marble skull in the back of all my videos is from here. My skull cups that I drink my coffee out of most mornings are from here. So definitely if you have a home goods, check it out this year. It's where I get all of, they usually have some neutral skull stuff and stuff that'll work all year round. And I love dishware, like Halloween dishware. I'm all about it. Okay, let's really go. Let's really, let's really go. By the way, I tie these so they stay in place when they're on my bun it just keeps rubbing against the roof and getting crazy so let's go
oh my goodness, do I look flushed or what? <laughs> uh, but great success, <laughs> great success. I got four plates, two of two different styles. I'm sure I'll show you later. I got a new water bottle that's much bigger than the one I have. Um, and I also got the Witch's Brew mug because there's only one. And anything to do with like Witch's Brew, it, it always gets me. But I'm gonna start driving to the next place because moving my car will make it cool down. God, I wish I had AC. <sighs> Life choices, instead I buy Halloween plates. Oh well, let's go. <laughs> Hey guys, hey, um, I'm starting to lose <laughs> lose my makeup. I feel like I, I start to sweat under my mask when like I'm around a lot of people. Why are so many women, not that I should talk because now I'm one of them, so many women just casually shopping at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. So much busier than I thought it was gonna be. Thankfully, this store is huge. And yeah, socially responsible me should have just come here, but I got more plates. All I bought today, our plate in one mug and then I got my sister a couple mugs and some razors who knew that you could get razors for super cheap at TJ Maxx I did not know I feel like the TJ Maxx up here usually has more stuff they didn't even have really any fall stuff like they did but they didn't um up on this side of town I was in the valley and now I'm on the north side that's where the at home is so I did film a little bit the drive up here because I took the back way instead of taking the freeway and it's pretty so hopefully you guys enjoyed that little tidbit uh but yeah they're supposed to have a ton of stuff here at home is always like the first place to get Halloween stuff everywhere is behind this year like I've said before I'm sure I already said that but I'm excited Again, so far I've just bought two of each style of plate. I probably should have done the adult thing and gotten four to have a full set of each. But if I only got two of each, I could get more styles. And it's not like I'm hosting a dinner party anytime soon. But the season is young. We can always get more. Um, I will do a haul at the end of this. Normally I haul after each place, but they're dishes, so they're all wrapped up. So I'll haul them when I get home. Uh, but let's go into at home. What's wrong with people?
<sighs> I need to breathe. <laughs> Does anyone else just, when they're so angry, they just cry? <laughs> hey love, so it is probably about a week <laughs> later after I finished filming the shop with me. I just, I came home. I was not in a good place. Um, I'm not sure how much I will put in this vlog of what happened at, at home because I was a blubbering mess. I mean, I was PMSing, but that's not like, I don't know. I was just super emotional. Self-love is just a roller coaster and body positivity. I practice body neutrality where I just like try my best to accept myself and <sighs> this is just another case of like you can literally wear anything and people are still going to be terrible to you. So I feel like I've just spent so much of my life hiding my entire body when I was wearing <laughs> full length jeans, a white t-shirt and a flannel and I still got body shamed while I was at at home. I'm just going to tell you now, I guess, what kind of happened so that you can understand better because I was just crying and rambling and like I was not in a good place. I was already feeling, you know, you know when you're PMSE, you're already emotional um, and just to have that happen. It's been a long time since that's happened to me in person. It happens pretty much every day on the internet. Being a plus size woman, putting herself out there on the internet, it, you know, my body is talked about and told to me about all the time, uh, but it's been a while since it's happened in person. I also don't leave my house ever, so that's probably part of it, uh, but I just truly didn't expect it, so it did kind of shake me a little more. I was just having a good day. I was in such a good mood. Um, I started my day a little stressed because, you know, I was PMSy, kind of emotional, but Halloween stuff, like, makes me so happy. The queen's making noise. Fall makes me so happy, so I thought I would just, you know, make sure I had a good day and go out and do this, but then this just kind of soured it for me. Um, and I ended up barely even looking around, and I just left and went and cried in my car and then went home. Uh, so I walked in, and they had moved their Halloween stuff. I went last year earlier, because uh, everyone's Halloween stuff was out earlier last year, and I went there earlier, and so it was kind of set back off, but when I went, it was like, you'll see, you will have seen, I guess, in the video that it was like right when you walk in, um, you go past the first part and then there's all the Halloween and then there's fall like in the center aisle things. And so I, you know, I have my camera. <laughs> I had even said in the beginning of this video that maybe I wouldn't use my camera, but then I was just so in like, I'm sick of worrying what people think of me like vlogging, whatever it is, what it is. Uh, but I, so I use my camera cause I was just like, it's just easier, whatever. That's, that's beside the point. I now wish that I probably just should have used my phone and then maybe this wouldn't have been this wouldn't have happened but these people are still terrible regardless so i'm just walking and i kind of film the wall as i'm walking by and then i see that there's like this little setup in the center aisles of fall stuff and i was like well i'll shoot the fall stuff because there's probably people that you know love fall stuff and not just halloween stuff and i'm all about all of it so i went to like and i went like halfway around you will have probably seen, you can go back, you can see where it cuts off. Um, and as I'm coming around, these two older women come around the other side. And, you know, I instantly put my camera down because if it were me, I would, if someone was filming around me, I would worry that they were filming me. I just, my, that's just how my brain works. If someone's laughing, my brain always goes, they're making fun of you. Like if someone's filming, they're filming you to make fun of you. Like that's just, I had some really terrible situations in high school that just have ingrained that in my head and I tr I've tried to get better over the years but then this kind of just <laughs> proved me right. <clears throat> so I like put my camera down and I'm just kind of looking and I hear rather loudly like I know that they wanted me to hear. Um, even if they didn't they sure had a laugh about it. So I just heard them say one of them to the other one. By the way, they were not thin either. Not that that matters. I would never look at anyone and judge their body. I would never, I can't even think of a situation where I would ever look at anyone and judge them, but that's how I am much different than a lot of people in this world. And I know a lot of you guys are too. A lot of you have beautiful hearts. And I would never, maybe if someone was like naked, I might go, whoa, you're naked in the middle of that home. But like, I would never like ever think, oh, you're large. Oh, you have acne. Like I would never I'm just there to look at Halloween stuff. I'm just there to have a good time. I'm in the middle of a home store. You know, I want to redo my living room. I want to redo my kitchen. So I was excited to look at all the things that day. Uh, but so I hear <laughs> that fat woman is filming. And they, I, I like at first I'm kind of frozen. And keep in mind, I never say anything. I normally walk away and cry and never say anything but I was so 100% positive of what they said and I just, it just, they looked me up and down and then started to walk away and it just came out of my mouth. I was like, excuse me, I heard that. And they just started laughing 
And of course I'm like shaking because I never say anything. I'm non-confrontational. Like I'm so just like love everyone. Just I truly believe that people with hate in their hearts are just truly unhappy. So I try to be kind as much as possible. And then all they just were laughing their heads off at this. They thought it was so funny. And so the last thing I said to them was like, cause they were walking away. I was like, I apparently said Jesus, I think. I was like, Jesus, be kind. Like that's all I could get out was just like, be kind. And I like tried to walk around. I tried to do like, I tried to push it down, but seeing as you know, the roller coaster of self love and I was already in like a bad spot and I do not want to get emotional again. I do not want to give them any more of my tears, uh, but just some stuff had happened. Like I had put up that swimsuit video and I lost some subscribers after I put up the swimsuit video, which that, that makes you feel crappy. Like I'm trying to push myself and show people. And like, I mean, I guess if those people just don't want to look at a fat body, that's fine. But I'm trying to help the people that want to, you know what, you deserve to wear that swimsuit because anyone with a hate in their heart is going to be rude no matter what you're wearing. Because I was completely covered from head to toe and a mask on and I still got body shamed. Like I don't, people who are going to be that way are going to be that no matter what. Whether I go to the grocery store like this with my bat wing showing, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because people are going to be rude if they're going to be rude. But yeah, that just really, really sucked. It was, you know, and I hate to talk about it, but I have to tell you guys why the vlog suddenly ended. I'm sure I'll put in like a tiny snippet of what like had happened after because I did vlog, but then I rambled and I cried and it was just... It was a lot and I don't want to put that on you guys and I don't want you guys to have to experience me at such a low and I know and everyone will say like don't want to get to you no matter who you are first of all I'm a highly sensitive person I always have been I absorb emotions like I you know I lead with my heart and I can't help that and I've been told my whole life that I'm too soft that I'm too nice and <laughs> I'm not gonna stop being who I am so please just please save me that don't let it bug you stuff like that because half the time it doesn't bother me and half the time you guys I, I am always in my comments I'm always on all my stuff because I try to respond to you guys as quickly as I can unless I'm really busy or I have a bad day I'm really like in there so I always just like block delete like delete block and move on you know it's all I can do for the most part online but when you're it happens to you in person it just it hits a different nerve and it just it was just a moment of me feeling like I couldn't escape the way my body looked and that no matter where I was or what I was doing someone was going to be judging me for the way my body looked and this ramble is getting so so long uh, <laughs> but it was just this overwhelming feeling that I had already had that day and had been having where you know I try like I've tried multiple times many 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 times in my life to lose weight I have been eating healthy I am not getting on the scale I'm working out when I can I'm just trying to take care of my body and if it gets smaller cool. If it doesn't, which most likely it won't, that's, you know, it is what it is. And all I can do is just treat my body the way I want to. You know, I have a lot of health problems, so I need to eat better. And I have noticed being vegan that my inflammation from arthritis has definitely gotten better. It's not gone away because it's going to always exist, but it's definitely improved. And, you know, that's just something I can do for my health. And I won't get into that because that's not what this video is about. But know that no matter what you do, no matter where you go, people just, you just have to be yourself because the, the best you can do is show up for yourself because people are going to suck no matter what. <laughs> why don't I stop rambling and why don't I show you what I got? I didn't get anything at home. Um, hopefully I'll go back. My mom and I are going to go, well, probably my dad too, because uh, my dad retired recently. So now I get to see my mom and my dad all the time when they come up to visit. Uh, they live about an hour from us, but we're going to go shopping. My mom loves Halloween like I do. We both love it and always have. Like that's how I, I grew up watching Hocus Pocus and stuff like that. So we are going to go to like Michael's and stuff. I don't know if you guys have seen but Michael's did put out some like romance Halloween stuff and it's so cute. It's baby pink black and white. <clears throat> I love. I love. So I'm really excited to go see that in person. I haven't been to Ross. Um, I don't know. Joanne's I don't think hasn't put much out yet, but there are definitely a lot of places we can go back to. I definitely do want to go back to at home because I really didn't get to look. Even though I filmed some, I just kind of walked up and down the aisles and like walked through to see if there was any phases of the moon stuff because that's kind of how I want to decorate my living room. I think we're going this week, so hopefully next week there will be another vlog where we actually go shopping, which is fun. But I'm going to show you guys really quick what I picked up. Um, and I also just got a package in today from Bath and Body Works. So I think I'm going to show you that too. And then that's probably going to be everything for the vlog. So I'm going to show you. Let's start with home goods and then we will do TJ Maxx and then the Bath and Body Works stuff. Um, this I'm actually already using. I grabbed another water bottle. I wanted a bigger water bottle. This was like, 
$12.99 or something ridiculous cheap for a water bottle like this uh, right by the checkout and I grabbed it at the last minute. I have to say it's not the best of quality. I already didn't close it all the way and it leaked all over me so you have to be careful to close it all the way but I did want a bigger one and it'll do. I just have to get the hang of it. It's not as nice quality as the other pink one I have that's smaller but I paid twice as much for that one at Target and it's smaller. I think this one's a 32 ounce and I just wanted to I just found myself like having to refill it so many times a day because I'm trying to drink more water and I just thought I would grab a bigger one and then they had a pink one so I just grabbed this one and it said on it that it would stay cold for 24 hours. I only started using it today so I don't know but I'm excited to have it. <laughs> what else did I get? I got this mug. Oh cute! I didn't even notice him. Look at him. Little dangling bean. I was just so excited. I feel like when I'm shopping with a mask on like I don't fully take everything in because I'm just like you're just like in your bubble of like what's happening. Yeah it just says witch's brew and it's got a little skeleton and he's got a little martini but I didn't even realize this little guy and it's the little things in life that just make me so happy it's a little tiny school guy. Um, so it's just a mug. $3.99! Not bad. I need to get a mug wrap because I love mugs. Um, most of my favorite mugs are Halloween mugs. Um, and then I got four plates. I got two of each. This is the first one. I almost got four of these and I probably should like I said probably earlier in this video that I should be an adult and get like a full set uh, but maybe I will they were only $4.99 each but I figured they still kind of match anyway because they're all skulls they could go together and when am I even gonna have a dinner party when does that even doesn't even matter <laughs> like um and anyone that I would have for a dinner party would probably not care uh but I think so cute just like a little couple of skeletons they're precious so I got two of these then this is the other one they had one other style uh but I liked these two the most I liked that they were more black and white the other one had more of this like gold color on them um again $4.99 for a dish that is not bad at all are they they're microwave and dishwasher safe and I just kind of love getting dishes around Halloween I love stuff like this I know a lot of you probably think I'm weird but that's okay I am weird embrace the weird <laughs> got some razors you probably want to know that uh, I normally wax but wax starts to get expensive even when you do it yourself so I just got these for when I don't feel like waxing my legs I definitely prefer waxing but it, you know I got a couple mugs but they're for my sister oh she even taped them wow this woman was like on it she was wrapping things good Jen won't care if I show you my sister Jen loves the peanuts Charlie Brown so a little Charlie Brown mug it just says peanuts on the back. Uh, this guy was $3.99. And then the other one I got her was the Arg! Oh, I can't even say Arg! Oh, the football. This is one she was really excited about. And of course it says peanuts on the back. And then I grabbed some of these. Uh, I wish that it was kind of just bats and not pumpkins and bats. I love getting dishes around Halloween, but I like to stick with more of the stuff that I view as year round, which I know it's probably weird. But I worked on Hot Topic for like half of my life, so don't judge me. <laughs> uh, but I feel like bats can be around, skeletons can be around, uh, witches, ghosties almost. But then pumpkins, I feel like, which doesn't make any sense. But to me it does for some reason. That pumpkins can be like, they're more fall, they're more actual Halloween. So I kind of wish it was just bats and not orange. Like just, oh, if they were just bats, it would be so cute. Uh, but I love this too. And look at this little guy. Look at him. He's so happy. He's just being a pumpkin, living his best life. I really like how they're kind of irregular too. They're not perfect circle. Uh, so it makes them look a little more handmade. So, so cute. And I just got two of these. I just kind of felt like if I get fewer, then I can get more um, and have more of a variety. Uh, let me go grab the Bath and Body Works stuff. <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's quite a bit. I don't think I've ever spent this much at Bath and Body Works, but sometimes you just buy stuff all wallflowers and half of them are for my mama and half of them are for me but we just got vanilla pumpkin marshmallow pumpkin cupcake pumpkin pecan waffles this one's so good there is caramel pumpkin swirl cinnamon pumpkin oh this is heavy this is this one's all mine <laughs> oh it smells so good it smells so good it smells like fall um oh she leaked Oh, okay. So pumpkin cupcake. I think one of these is leaking. One's leaking. Um, vampire blood. Oh, I think this is the culprit. Maybe candy corn treats. Perfect pumpkin. 
perfect pumpkin and there's a kitten on there so of course um white coconut caramel <laughs> it's about fall y'all <laughs> which is cozy vanilla cream marshmallow pumpkin latte which is interesting that it's very green it's very green but it's cute and i think that's all of the soap and then I got two of these because have you guys seen that hack where you can take just a little bit of this in water and you put it in one of these once they're gone and shake it up and it works just the same. Uh, so I'm going to try that. Uh, I've tried it with a different one before and it totally works. But this is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. These are buy two, get one free. So I got two of these. And then I got the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Ultra Shea Body Cream because who doesn't want to smell like fall? I do. Okay. Uh, I feel like even though this video feels kind of rushed, it's not at all. It's going to be really a lot of me rambling. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are as excited about fall as I am. If you're not, it's cool. You can just stay in your summer bubble and I'll stay over here in fall and we'll meet somewhere in the middle. <laughs> I know there's some people that are just like not, they don't like to let go of summer and I totally understand because I understand how much I love fall and I'm the opposite where I do not enjoy summer and I just can't wait to get to fall and I want to wear cardigans and flannel and all the cute stuff that I well that I love I love you know not feeling hot <laughs> and I just I love the fall breeze I love pumpkins I just love everything about it. it just makes me it brings me so much joy so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you enjoyed going Halloween hunting with me uh sorry for the downer in the middle I really did I did not expect that to happen I just know I love you guys so much and thank you for always being there I did share a little bit on Instagram and so many of you guys sent me messages and were just so so kind and just know that I appreciate it so much I hope you're having a wonderful day I hope you guys are good and I will talk to you soon I need to save money for that um, and be responsible. <laughs> I'm not going to be responsible around Halloween. Um, but please tell me why that there's like a full parking spot. Parking bed. I just literally spit. Wow. There's a whole parking lot of spaces that they decided to park right next to me. I guess it's kind of a shady spot, so I don't really blame them. By the way, I forgot to buy snacks.